what i'm struggling to understand is the again you know i'm i'm learning this so maybe i'm misunderstanding this so that's why i want to run this by so the gex is based on open interest and because the zero dte um during the day the open interest doesn't change but on the 5 minute chart um the levels keep you know moving right so is that moving because the the just because the spot is moving assuming that there is not let's say there is not much of volume in any of the calls or puts significantly and if only the spot keeps moving is that significant enough to you know change the gex levels or do the levels change based on you know which strikes are being targeted because this is purely based on open interest but volume is on a separate chart so how does how do these two tie in i think you you actually are closer to the answer than you think you are um, okay <laughs> so open interest does not change through the day as as you said the only time it changes is if uh, opera sends a correction message out or something uh or OCC and we process that automatically we we don't we wouldn't know about it unless we we saw a difference in the OI numbers so the OI numbers that you get in the morning and soon in the pre-market um are going to be static for the rest of the day that is the OI surface and you're absolutely correct that doesn't move. Um when you run the E or the EM charts, gamma moves as a function of spot price and volatility. Um we calculate all the Greeks when you run the E or the EM charts, we calculate everything from scratch, everything. Um so when you see gamma move or you see charm move or you see delta move or you see vanna move it's a completely different set of calculations it's based on the oi and it has nothing to do with volume zero zero it has nothing to do with volume of the day okay? okay we do not bring the two worlds together we do not do that um there's too much subjectiveness in that so when you see those charts moving in terms of gamma cuz that's your question gamma is like a big fat bell curve at the beginning of the day it literally looks like a short bell which is fat at the base and not very tall by the end of the day it looks super skinny super tall as a bell curve and it's purely driven by time around spot price it becomes a magnifying lens for the engineers who are listening if you're if you go back to your college you know days when they were talking about circuits and signals and they talked about something called a convolution the gamma curve is a convolution across the oi surface and now what does that mean it means it multiplies whatever's on the oi surface but it's also changing you're convolving two things you're you're mixing or using the lens of gamma and l- moving it up and down the oi surface and that's why you see those lines grow dramatically and so for the naysayers who are out there and there's a lot of them not not here in gamage but there's a lot of them out there who say you can't do this with oi i think we've pretty much debunked that we can we see it all the time uh where the gamma levels are very prevalent they're very evident and they're very sticky now what happens later in the day and Terry and I and and others were talking about this on Friday when you get to the end of the day that bell curve you you squeezed it so narrow and it's so tall and if you go look at the EM command for you know whatever go down to the automation channels and just look at the EM command you'll see it get you know from 20 lines wide 20 strikes wide to 15 strikes to 10 strikes to 5 strikes and then you know maybe 3 strikes at the end of the day that's because the gamma function gets narrower and narrower and narrower which makes sense right because the deltas you got to think of what delta is or what gamma is gamma is the change in delta due to the underline but if you're within an hour of expiry or within 30 minutes of expiry if you're in the money you've probably limited out very close to you know plus or minus 1 or plus or minus 100 depending on how you notionalize it and so there is no gamma there is no charm because you can't change 
once you've once delta has has limited itself out there's no more sensitivity to spot price you're either in the money or out of the money and so that's why the lines you see for gamma get fewer and fewer and fewer as you go through the day now again let me reiterate this has nothing to do with val d val m or you know really value which is multiple day and those were created so you could visualize separate and visualize what is happening in terms of targeting they have nothing to do with gamma calculations or any of the greek calculations they are purely 100 percent isolated to volume that's why they're vol d vol m vol u and nothing else they are purely isolating volume for the day so that you can see where the market has been targeting. Um, they, they have no influence on any other calculation in any other chart that we run here.